Good morning, good morning guys. Hey, we got a surprise for you guys. I'm here at Penner's and look at who pulled up to us here. A subscriber of mine. And yeah. uh, you said... Uh, I'm Lad Liddell. Liddell. And I'm Brady. Brady? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So you guys watch my uh, videos on a regular you betcha. basis, hey? Yeah, yeah we, wow. we learned uh, of you through uh, Trucker Josh. Oh, okay. Been following Trucker Josh for a while and he yeah. mentioned you and been following you since. So it's oh, been a couple okay. months already. Oh, wow. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh, what, do you, what do you do for... Uh... I drive a landmark transfer. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. deliver parts up here? Yeah. Oh, parts nice. uh, Winnipeg and... Um, um, yeah, all over Manitoba. I've been okay. everywhere, but... Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, bud. Well, I've gone to Winkler. <laughs> yeah, we've been to Clarney, Brandon. Sirius. Yeah, that's where I'm going to go to Winkler. I just got to wait. They, they're fixing uh, something on my trailer there. Apparently, okay. they, and the guy had complained when they stepped on the brake that there was an air leak in the in the brake system there somewhere. So I see. They're just checking it out. And okay. <laughs> and then you're on your way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll be picking up a load here and then going to Pennsylvania. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So. Should this video be posted? In one week from today. One week from today? Okay. Yeah, so today is Wednesday, so it should be out next week Wednesday. So you can tell all your buddies about Yeah. <laughs> being, awesome. <laughs> being yeah. On video. Yeah, we've seen you cooking in your bunk there and everything yeah, with yeah. this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I do. I just got new uh, stripes put on here this okay. week while I was uh, I was on vacation, my stripes were starting to peel off and stuff like that, you know. I see. <laughs> so oh, I, nice. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, guys, we will be right back. We'll do a little more chatting with these guys and then uh, we'll see you guys down the road. We are coming into Winkler, Manitoba right now. Just about to pick up our load. Yeah. Got about a mile to go. Got to sort of go to the north side, or actually, you know, this is actually on the uh, be on the west side of Winkler, I guess it is. Got to go over here and uh, pick up my loot. I'm gonna be picking up some uh, tractor parts, I think, or farm equipment parts, anyways. Some kind of cast iron parts that's what we're picking up yes sir a little rough road going through town but yeah so we'll be picking up some iron cast iron so let's go over there and pick that up and see how long that's going to take to get us loaded up there then we gotta send our paperwork into this batch and get our border clearance done before we can cross that border. And then we'll make our way down to Pennsylvania. But we had a really, really nice surprise there this morning. The guy that subscribed to my meters. channel turn there. Left on Pembina Avenue East and then turn right in 160 meters. Walking up to me there and uh, Saying he's been watching my videos there for a while and it was really nice chatting with him and his and his son. Oh yeah. Really, really nice guy. Drive for a landmark transport company that delivers all kinds of stuff around the areas, you know. In 100 meters, turn right on Manitoba Road. See where our pickup will be at. I'm pretty sure I've been here before, but I, I kind of forgot a little bit on whereabouts exactly it is. But I know I've been here before in this area. I'm pretty sure I've been at the same place too, where <laughs> supposed to pick up at. Well, we'll in find out here in a minute meters, or two. Turn left on Warner Drive and then approaching destination on the right side in 230 meters. Yeah, this is the industrial area up here in Winkler. I know I've been here a couple of times in this area, but I I remember correctly, I've only been at this place one time where I'm supposed to pick up right now at. So, let's go see if we can find this place. So, should be just around the corner up here, so. We'll be back in a little bit. This has been one of the fastest loading 
place that I have ever been at. Man, I mean, that was super, super fast. I go in there, I pull her up to the dock. I haven't even gotten out of my truck to go open the trailer doors to back her into the dock and the guy is already coming out telling me, yeah, yeah, just go ahead back her right in there in that dock. And I mean, I'm backing into the dock. And I mean, I just barely bumped the dock and these guys are already moving into my trailer, loading my load on. And the we guy comes on, he says, come on in and uh, we'll get Francis your Street, paperwork done. So I go in and get my paperwork, get my paperwork signed. They got everything ready. And I go back to the truck and I start filling out my paperwork to uh, fax to, uh, to my dispatcher so they can uh, set up my border crossing. Next thing I know, I get a bump on the door. They're done loading me. I mean, literally, I probably was in the dock for 10 minutes and then he's done loading me. Got 18 pallets on it in 10 minutes. Now that is what I call service, my friends. That is a good place to go to get loaded. Oh yeah. So now what I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, there is a cold truck stop just a couple of miles outside of Winkler up there. I think I'm just gonna go up there and have me breakfast. So that way I'm done with breakfast. And it's gonna take a while anyways to get my, uh, my paperwork set up. I'm only like half an hour from the border, so I figure I may as well go have some breakfast done and that way I've, I've got a full stomach, you know, we're good to go. And then we'll start making our way towards the border. Hopefully by that time they got my border crossing set up. We will be good to go, you know. Actually, this is a super, super nice trip. Oh, let me see if I can stop here on time. All right, there we go. Sometimes these lights in cities, you know, they're, they make it difficult for a truck driver to stop real quickly, you know, because they only, you know, when you're coming down here, uh, you know, I'm not going fast or anything, but they don't have no warning lights that the lights is going to change, you know, and then you get to it, and, whoa, you know, like, instantly, you know, and then you got to stop real fast. It's not always easy with a big truck with a heavy load on, you know, and I don't like to go through red, red lights, you know, <laughs> that's never good. But anyways, as I was saying, it's going to take a while to get my paperwork done, get me cleared for the border. Once we're done with that, I am uh, going to be crossing Hamina, North Dakota. And uh, I was having some issues with my APU unit there. The last day when I, before I left to go to Seattle, I was having problems with it. So, And I know there's a Thermal King dealership there in uh, Fargo, North Dakota, which is about uh, probably three and a half hours from here. So well, my plan is kind of uh, try and make her over there and uh, get get me in there and see if they can figure out what's uh, what's wrong with my EP in it because it keeps shutting off on me. Now, I can't figure out what's wrong with it. I checked everything that I can think of. Checked all the fuses. I checked the wiring a little bit. Checked the oil. Checked all that stuff, and I can't figure out what's wrong with it. It just keeps shutting off. It only runs for about three, four minutes and then we'll shut off, you know? Sometimes not even that long, so. Anyways, let's go over there to the truck stop and have ourselves some good breakfast. Yeah, we even got the green light right now, so that's hurry up so we can get through that. Hopefully we can make it. No, we're not gonna make it. Continue on this road for 45 kilometers. Oh, well. Yes, it's only half an hour towards uh, 75 and it's only like 10 minutes down the road. That's where the border is, so. Anyways, let's go have breakfast. Alrighty guys, we are getting ready to have a good meal. Have a look at that. That's some good chicken alfredo, so let's grab ourselves a bite to eat and get out of here. Well guys, things got changed around a little bit, apparently. Yeah, that's what they're saying anyways. I don't know what to believe, but uh, I think they used me just to go pick up this load, but 
unless I can prove it. He means I got no no ground to stand on, but what has happened is I uh, picked up this load and I went over here and had me some breakfast or, or dinner or whatever you want to call it. We get back to the truck and I'm expecting a message to say that the load is cleared right for the border crossing. Well, we got a message saying, oh sorry, we made a mistake. Can you bring this load back to Steinbach? We'll give you a different load. Well, I think they just used me to go over here and pick up this load because I found out from the place up here that they're doing orient, uh, not orientation. I was going to say orientation. They're doing uh, inventory uh, tomorrow on the day after or something like that. So, so they won't be able to ship on uh, Friday, this load apparently only leaves on Friday normally. So apparently they won't be able to ship at that day. And so that's what I think what happened is uh, they just sent me over here. So uh, pretending that I was going to take this load to Pennsylvania, just so that uh, they got somebody to go pick up this load, right? And once I got there, they're just going to change things around and say, Oh, sorry, that they load change this and that. Yeah, right, that's bullshit. I don't believe that. But I guess this bitch got to come up with an excuse. And, oh, well, that's the way it goes. Sometimes you get fucked. That's right. You can't always prove it. This time I believe I can actually sort of prove it. Anyways, just leaving Winkler right now, so I'm a little bit, I don't know, pissed off or mad or sad or whatever I want to, I should say, but actually pisses me off a little bit when they do that, you know, I know I thought I had a really nice trip, now they're taking it away from me, you know. They're giving me an Indianapolis load. I don't really like that too much. But what can I say and do? So, we'll, uh, I guess, go back to the terminal and uh, we'll talk to dispatch and see what happens. Here we go, guys. We are back on the road again. Our terminal and talk things through with the dispatcher there and was able to stay on this load so here we are we are still going to Pennsylvania yeah I guess there just was a little bit of a miscommunication there I guess somehow between the planners and the dispatcher or something somewhere there the officer is a little bit of a miscommunication so but they let me stay on this load so we'll still get some good miles in so I'll still get to go to Fargo tonight and I will go get my APU unit fixed hopefully hopefully they will be able to figure out what's wrong with it and then uh, we'll go from there this load doesn't need to be in uh, Pennsylvania till Sunday Sunday evening it needs to be in there so yeah so we're just gonna go put the hammer down towards the border only got about 10 minutes to the border it will be at the border just got cleared to cross the border here a minute ago I stopped at a truck stop here for a little while waiting for them to clear my border crossing so now we're good to go now we're gonna go put the hammer down towards uh, Fargo. That's our goal for today. Get her over to Fargo and that's as far as I'm gonna go. I wanna get her into the shop there and see what's wrong with my APU unit. Really need to figure out what's going on, you know. Anyways, let's go ahead and do that. We'll see you on the other side. 
side of the border somewhere. Here we go guys, we are just entering the United States of America. Yeah, we are finally across the border after about an hour delay. I don't know what happened but somehow the broker didn't enter all the information that the customs needed but at the same time yet they gave me an entry number so I could come into the United States so it makes no sense and it made no sense to the customs either but you know it was an incomplete entry so what ended up happening is I called the dispatch and they said well everything looks good from their end Customs actually uh, took it on, onto themselves and called the broker and told him what was going on and uh, I don't know exactly what he talked to her about but uh, they talked to her for a little bit. It took about 10 minutes after that and then everything was cleared to go. I guess they must have worked something out or whatever but yeah, it's just kind of weird, you know, I got a satellite message from the dispatcher, got my entry number, I'm good to cross, everything was good, I get to the border and it's not correctly done, so, <laughs> that's kind of weird, but that happens, it does happen, so now we are in Pemina, North Dakota, yeah, nice and sunny again, we got nice green grass up here, not like it was like in Washington where the grass was all dried up and there was a lot of fires going on in the area a lot of smoke really dry so here we are I'm gonna put the hammer down and hopefully we can get to Fargo today you know it's been a long day and <laughs> didn't do all that whole lot you know Let's put the hammer down and get down to Fargo, North Dakota that is. I am in North Dakota in Fargo right now at the Thermal King dealer right now. Yeah, and I'm just about ready to hit the bed up here. I'm gonna go to sleep and have me a good night's sleep. Get up tomorrow morning and go into Thermal King up here. And get my AP unit fixed. I already uh, got the guy to look at it and we found out what the problem is. My uh, fan belt for the uh, water pump is broken. Yeah, so they gotta take a whole bunch of stuff apart and yeah, put it back together, I suppose. And then my AP unit should work again, but uh, hey, at least it's not something extreme or something major, so. Uh, sounds like my light bulbs up there are getting a little hot, but hey, yeah, that's okay as long as they work. Anyways, we're done for today. Thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog. It's kind of a bit of a challenging day for me, but uh, we made it. We certainly did, and now it's time to hit the bed. We will be sure to see you again tomorrow. So thanks for watching. And be sure to stick around for the next one because you never know what could happen. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall.